You are such an amazing little guy, huh? Guys, take a look at that. It's a white alligator. <laughs> Hey, good morning, everybody. Somewhere from some part of Florida. I'm not even sure what place we're in right now, but I know that we had to drive over an hour out of our way to find a hotel. So we got a little bit of a trip, but I am super excited because we're heading to Gatorland to visit my friend Savannah that works there. How about me and you make today awesome? All right, so I am so excited. I'm at Gatorland finally. I have heard about this place forever and I've been down to Florida a million times. I've never been to Gatorland, have no idea what to expect, but my good friend Savannah works here, so it's gonna be awesome to go in and just see what they have to offer. I am super jacked about this. Here is the iconic entrance to Gatorland. Yes, that's one big Gator Mountain right there. Let's go in. Ah! All right, guys, so I am absolutely going to go crazy here. I love alligators so much, and guess what? These guys have not only albino alligators, but the white alligators, which are the leucistics, which are absolutely incredible, and we're about to go in with trezos, which means what? Treasure. Treasure eye. Treasure eye. How about that? Look at this guy. Trezos. Look at him. Oh, my Bubba. gosh. See how blue his eye is right he here? He is amazing. You are such an amazing little guy, huh? Guys, take a look at that. This is a white alligator. These guys came from the Audubon Zoo. I mean, my gosh, look at this. Whoa. I mean, that, I, I've been in with the albino alligators before, but this is the first time I've ever been anywhere close to a white one. I'm blown away. And again, the eyes, again, it's Trezos, which is treasure eye, and you can see, take a look at his eyes right there. I mean, you can see it's actually blue eyes. Look at that. Holy cow. <laughs> that, that I'm, I'm speechless. I mean, literally, that is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is so, that eye is just crazy. Okay, guys, I don't know what to say, man. I, I don't, I, I'm not leaving. I'm going, to, I'm going to live here. And so, this is my man here that got me in with Trezos here. Of course, Savannah's in the camera over there. Hi! Hey! <laughs> so tell me, you know, how long have you had this guy? Um, we've had him probably uh, eight to ten years. We got all four of them at the same time from the Audubon Zoo. It's Trezos. Oh hey, my God. God. Good morning. Good morning, bud. No, it's a little chilly this morning, so that's, that's pretty good that you're just even moving over here for us. <laughs> So tell me, you were telling me about the fact that like, there's so, so there's a guy that knows where an adult female is in the wild. Yeah, she's a regular, looks like a regular alligator. Oh, so she's a normal head yeah. dog. And okay. she's the one that produces these every uh, five, six years. And he's the only one who knows really where she's at out of the home of Louisiana. And he won't tell anybody, which is really cool. <laughs> and every uh, you know couple of years, he'll go out there and he'll find them, he'll gather them up and he'll take them to the Audubon. Oh my gosh. I, I need to have this guy as a friend. Yeah, he's wow. a really cool guy. Great so The beautiful blue-eyed white alligator. I tell you what guys, this place is so cool. I can't believe all the times I've been down in Florida, I've never been to Gatorland. It is, it's way bigger than I expected, way cooler than I expected. Look, there's even a zip line up there that you can zip line over the alligators. There's alligator marshes we're gonna go check out. We're gonna feed some alligators. This is freaking heaven. I'm loving it today. Gatorland has been here since 1949. And the big debate is this, like what came first, chicken or the egg? So we don't pops know. Pops or Gatorland. Pops or Gatorland. <laughs> so we think that Pops was already here and this was his place and Gatorland is kind of built up around him. <laughs> so it all started with an alligator and then we built, this is a great story. And by the way, Savannah is my friend that Hi. is uh, works here. She is awesome. Please give her a follow. I'll put the link in the description. All right, so this is nature at its finest here, guys. See all these birds here? They actually nest all in this marsh. And then what happens is that, I know it's a little bit brutal, but believe it or not, all these alligators get to feast on any bird that falls out. So what's interesting is Savannah was telling me that, see these little baby birds right there? Sometimes you'll see a whole bunch of alligators right down here, just kind of waiting for their opportunity. So again, it's kind of a bummer because they're such cute little birds, but hey, that's just the way nature works. I mean, that's really cool that there's like a little ecosystem right within Gatorland. Legitimately, guys, the coolest attraction I've ever seen at any park made so that people can come right 
through that fence and right up here. Of course, there's this line in the sand here. <laughs> that basically says that you can't go past that line. But believe it or not, a normal person that is not a crocodile trainer, is not an expert or anything, can actually come in here and get this close to these absolutely majestic alligators. And of course, they, they, they can't do what Savannah's doing over there. I'm not... I don't even trying to help you. I don't even know what she's doing over there, but I can tell you what, this is not the protocol. I can tell you that much. She is past the line over there. I know, I'm trying to help pull some big ones up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, it is just so cool because, you know, for normal people to get this close to a, an alligator is really an experience and it's all about really trying to get people really excited about these. I mean, look at how big they are and how close. You're literally within arm's reach. But again, they have trained these alligators to only be rewarded if they stay right there. So as soon as those alligators come too far, they're not going to get rewarded with food. And that's the thing that's amazing about crocodilians is you can usually train them through rewards. So basically they want food. So look at this little cheeky monkey. He's like, I'm going to come a little bit closer. How close can I get? But he knows the rules. He knows he can't get much closer than that or he's not going to get fed. There he goes. How close can he get? He's just kind of inching up, inching up. I mean, it's just a great experience to be literally an arm's length away from a, an animal. I mean, look at the size of that animal. That is one big alligator. And believe it or not, there's one over here, right over by Savannah, that's actually even larger. But in the water, it doesn't look as big. But it's just a cool attraction, right? I mean, you can come to Gatorland and you can get this close to an alligator and, and have that interaction. And trust me, you will walk away with a different appreciation of how amazing crocodilians are because alligators are absolutely the puppy dogs of the crocodile world anyways but hey say goodbye bye remember when savannah was bye. talking about pops the alligator that actually was here before the park well this is pops right here hey yep. pops what's going on and pops lives in here with two american crocodiles their names are snap and crackle so <laughs> in here it's snap crackle and pop and pop <laughs> has lived here his whole entire life he's Sorry. very <laughs> He's half crackles and pops in there. That is awesome. He's very friendly. I mean, as far as alligators go, uh, he's been in movies. He was like the the sound of the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. He was the sound of dinosaurs. Yeah, they did the um, they did the premiere for Lake Placid here. Like he's oh a movie God. star. That's Holy why he gets to live back here. And he lives back here with two American crocodiles. And in Florida, in the Everglades, it's the only place in the world where alligators and crocodiles coexist. So we like to tell people about that. Yeah. Chester, what's up? Chester, what's up, big boy? Smile. Smile, good morning, good morning. <laughs> so how awesome is that? This is actually an animal that has a really cool story. His name is Chester, and believe it or not, he unfortunately was a naughty wild alligator that used to eat dogs. So that's not a good thing. But regardless, because of the fact that he was eating dogs, they wanted to get him removed. And believe it or not, this is the very first animal that was permitted to be taken from the wild and be kept in captivity here at Gatorland. Now it kind of set the precedent for other alligators, but uh, Chester is the very first one. So even though he was naughty, he ended up being a pretty cool ambassador to what now is this area. Now, what's really crazy is that this alligator is over a thousand pounds. One thousand pounds. I mean, that fits one huge alligator. And again, you know, although his start were uh, eating little puppies, now he lives a good life here at Gatorland and he's got a great story. And he's a big, loud alligator too. All right, so we have another white alligator, but this guy's out. Look at, he's hanging out. That's so awesome. So, you know, when an alligator is hanging out right by a door, the best thing to do is to go inside, right? And that's what we're going to do. <laughs> we actually are just going to open the door and show it, but it's pretty awesome. And I guess this guy is a little bit grumpy compared to my blue-eyed beauty over on the other side. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, look at this guy. My gosh, is that amazing or what, guys? That is one absolutely gorgeous animal. I mean, it doesn't look real. I mean, it literally looks like a porcelain statue of an alligator. That 
is, is stunning. It really is. Guys, I have had such a great time here at Gatorland, and we're going to finish it up with a little baby alligator named Willie. Uh, it's a little mascot here. Willie's just a little pup, but he's going to get big eventually. Gatorland is absolutely amazing place. I can't thank these guys enough for being so cool to let me around. If you guys are ever down in the Orlando area, this is a must. I mean, I tell you what, this place is way cooler than Disney World or Disneyland or any other cool amusement park, so make sure you get over to Gatorland. For me and Willie, we're going to get out of here and on to the next adventure. I tell you what, that was the most epic time. That was so cool at Gatorland. Got to see so many cool animals. They treated me so good. Definitely, guys, if you guys get a chance, got to check this place out. It's, it's super cool. So now, uh, on to the next. As much as I love to come to Florida to do animal adventure, you know, the thing that's cool about Florida is the fact that there's so many, like, souvenir shops. I mean, people come here on vacation. I mean, 90% of the people that you're seeing in these areas, well, maybe not 90%, but a lot of people that you see in these areas have come from cold climates like me, and they're just here to have a good time. So everyone's on vacation, they're in a good mood. There's all these cool shops to go check out. So uh, I'm, you know, it's one of the things I love to do is to go into shops wherever I'm at, just to see the cool stuff. Bam! I so want to get this for Lori, for her wine. This would be awesome. What do you guys think? Should I get it for Lori? I think I should. Hey guys, what's going on? Can we sit down and have a little bit of a real talk back and forth? The reason I want to do this right now is because today is a special day for this vlog. At least it's special for me, and that's the fact that this is our 200th vlog. I mean, that is absolutely crazy. I want to first start by saying I wish I could have done something. I mean, I think we did something really cool at Gatorland and all that other stuff, but I wanted to do something a little bit more special, but because I'm on this road trip and you guys, I think, understand that, you know, I do the filming, the editing, the uploading, all the stuff that, that we do with this vlog, and when I'm on the road traveling, I can't really dedicate the time that I'd like to, to have maybe done something really special for the 200th vlog, because, you know, I wake up really early in the morning, I film all day, I come back to the hotel room, and I edit for a few hours, and then I upload the video, so obviously, there's really no time in the day to sit down and spend several hours putting something really cool together together so I hope you guys don't mind do me a favor you know comment down below and just let me know that it doesn't bother you guys I really want you guys to love what we do here because it means so much to me and to think about 200 times I filmed edited and now uploaded the vlog it seems like it was just yesterday when I did the very first vlog when you do daily videos things go so much quicker than when I did my weekly show that being said I love the vlog game I don't know if I'm gonna do this forever or not guys I have no idea but for now I'm committed to it I've told you guys I'm gonna do the best I possibly can do to do every single day in 2017 and the fact that we're at nearly 200,000 subscribers is really special to me but you guys know that I have a goal and that goal is to reach 1 million subscribers by the end of 2017. Now, can I do it? I don't know. With your help, I think I can do it. If you guys just continue to spread the word and we continue to just have this awesome message of loving animals and loving wildlife and also being kind of just into positivity and pushing yourself and, and keeping on living your dreams, I think we can reach a million subs by the end of the year. What do you guys think? I know together we can do just about anything. Regardless, this has been a pretty amazing journey from the start to now and in this trip that I'm on has been pretty amazing already and we still have a few more days of really cool things before I head off to Chicago for the NARBC show in Tinley right outside of Chicago. So it's gonna be a really cool time. As a matter of fact, one day I'm really excited about in a couple days from now when I get to actually meet some really venomous snakes where a good friend of mine, Tom Crutchfield. So that's gonna be a really special day. And then actually we have, you know, I don't know a lot about car racing really 
but I am heading to the NHRA, which is a drag racing, pro drag racing thing. And we're gonna hook up with one of the drivers and we're gonna get a chance to get in the pits and be right up and close. And again, I've never been to a race thing, so it's gonna be pretty interesting to be the first experience to be right there on the ground, right next to the cars. And I'm gonna bring you guys along. I hope you guys will enjoy that. You know, I tell you what, 200 vlogs, guys. 200 vlogs, that is so amazing. I hope I can be saying this at 500 vlogs, but let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think so far? Excited about the future? Happy with what you've seen? Want something different? I want this to be our vlog, so I need your input, guys. Please let me know. And listen, I love waking up each morning and reading your comments. I love the fact that in the first 10 minutes of the video, there's 50 or 80 or 100 comments. And within an hour, there's usually hundreds of comments that I get to interact with. And I love that so much. So please keep commenting. I really, really enjoy that. And I just love the interaction part. Regardless, I just appreciate everything you guys do for me. And I hope that you're enjoying this journey. And I'm gonna keep the journey going for as long as I can. Regardless Regardless, you guys have an amazing day. Do me a favor and smash that like button and hit the notification bell. Although the notifications seem to be broken these days, make sure to be kind to somebody. And again, thank you guys for joining me for 200 vlogs. I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow.